essentially machine learning or AIs and trying to realize the cognitive functions or intelligence of the humans. Um, but so far, it's within very limited extent. So we tend to mimic the structure, physical levels, and the function at algorithm levels. And the approach in our group is trying to bridge the software and hardware, basically bridge the logic and the uh, physical levels together. So one thing we realized that the two layers have different abstraction uh, and then um, they have different purposes. So optimization on one side um, might mislead the other side, so it couldn't reach the overall optimization. And therefore, uh, we must combine them together to achieve the truly intelligence. For example, today I give an example in talking about the pruning and sparsification at algorithm level. Without considering the hardware designs, um, people tend to zero out any weight parameters. And then the corresponding data allocations is not regular, and therefore the hardware deployment doesn't um, obtain the speed up and sometimes even there's a performance degradation. So we have to combine the two sides together. To achieve energy efficiency, so, uh, we can explore from different levels. One way is to reduce the model size, um, reduce the computation cost, right? Um, another way is to build one model and then apply to different purposes. I mentioned, um, you know, uh, one for all solutions. Another level is on hardware designs. With emerging technologies, rebuild computer architectures and provide more efficient uh, hardware solutions. First of all, I think right now we face a great challenge in scalability, how to apply this to large applications and offer real-time responses and solutions. This definitely will be the direction people are working on. Second is automation. Do like human beings have to engage into model designs and trainings? Can we ask computers to handle this tedious work? Um, third part is related to the explainability and the interpretability. So how to understand those models um, and debugging those models and provide a reasonable, fair solution. So I personally feel this in three areas will be very important in the coming five years maybe.